Hi, welcome in. I am Trucker Rudy from Canada, and to find out what we are up to today, stay tuned right after the intro. <music> Good morning, good morning everybody. Well, it is time for us to leave this TA and uh, I don't know if you will be able to see it, but at least one truck has left. But over there, there is actually two trucks parked in a row, you know. I don't know how those guys are supposed to get out of there, but let's try and get out of here. See if we can make it. And then we'll make our way down the, to Dallas. I know it's an hour early that I'm actually leaving. I only got 54 miles to go, which should only take me one hour. But I'm leaving here at seven o'clock. And uh, my appointment is for nine o'clock, so I'm actually an hour ahead of schedule, but uh, I know Dallas is gonna have some traffic, so uh, I just figured, you know what? I'm just gonna leave early. And that way I should have a better chance of getting there on time, so. Let's do it, let's get out of here and make our way down there. At this rate, guys, I have a feeling that we might just not make our appointment time. It's been like this for quite a while already. And it's already eight o'clock and I got 32 miles to go. Boy, oh boy, I don't know. I don't know if we can make nine o'clock we can't we can't I guess I left an hour early should have been no problem making it but uh, I can't predict the traffic you know sometimes I think I leave early enough and then it isn't next time I think I am and I'm way way too early you know oh well nothing I can do about it it's not my fault I left an hour early my opinion at least it's not my fault then yeah well let's see what happens I mean, I can't say for sure that I ain't gonna make it but uh, it's looking pretty slim right now I mean, 32 miles should only take me half an hour to get there but uh, I got one hour to do it in so we'll see we'll see well, I have figured out what happened. We uh, had an accident up there. Or not we. Somebody had an accident up there. On this 35. And, uh, as well for six miles. Uh, gotten a little bit of a break, but it looks like <laughs> just brake lights after brake lights here again. So, I have to see what's up over here. But. I thought I was going to get me a break here now and I uh, was going to be able to make it. <laughs> it doesn't look like it. I'm going to get a break here anytime soon. Nope, I don't think so. Yeah, well, we can only do our best. Well, guys, I have decided to take a detour. Well, not necessarily a detour, but it's a bypass that goes around uh, around downtown Dallas and look at all these overpasses up here holy moly there is a lot of them now what I have decided is instead of going all the way downtown through downtown uh, uh, Dallas I'm gonna take the 635 take it around because I gotta deliver on that side of Dallas so I'm taking this one around so that way I can uh, get get going, you know. I figured this be uh, this one would probably be not as bad with traffic as the one there downtown. So it's been terrible there for the last little while. So figure this would be a lot better. 
So far it seems like it. So far I can just go give her, you know. If I can continue with this speed, I could probably be there within like 10 minutes of my delivery it's time. So that would be awesome. So that's what the hammer does, see if we can get there on time. Well, to me it looks like it has paid off to go around here so far. Had a little bit of traffic here and there, a little bit, but uh, so far it's uh, going pretty steadily. I'm pretty steadily able to keep up with the speed. Yep, the odd time I gotta slow down a little bit so far, but yeah, we'll see how Oh, we'll go the further we get uh, towards the uh, I-30. That's where I got it. Keep to the left Exit. on I-635. And just a couple of miles down there, that's where I deliver. So let's hope for the best and see what happens. We are here at the delivery place, guys. As you guys can probably see, there's a lot of trucks here. I'm going to show you in the mirror. I am not backed into a dock at all. Went and checked in and because it's uh, by appointment, I got turned around. I got here late. Yep, they told me my dispatcher needs to make a new appointment. So, uh, well, who knows how long I'm going to be sitting here. I have no idea. No idea. I don't know. It would really suck if I have to sit here all day and wait till tomorrow to get unloaded. Because then I can't make uh, Laredo. I can't make it. And tomorrow is Friday, so I doubt it if they're open on Saturday. So we'll just have to find out. There on that 635 that I took, there was another accident. There was like a five car pile up over there. The highway was completely shut down. So I was forced to take a detour. Uh, if I didn't take the detour, I'd probably be still sitting in traffic. So I took the detour and that was easy enough to get around, but I got here uh, 45 minutes late. Yeah, I got here 45 minutes late. I think this is the very first time that I've actually been late. And I left an hour early, so I mean, what can I say? not in my control and now they want to make me wait here because I missed my appointment so we'll just have to find out how long that's going to be so I already messaged dispatch that they need to make a new appointment so they're working on it so we'll see what happens keep our fingers crossed that we can get at least unloaded today we got a new appointment time yes for 12 o'clock so that's actually not too bad I got here about quarter to ten, so it's only like two and a quarter hours of waiting time. Hopefully we can get in right away too. This time I'm going to walk in there a little early, but uh, hey, guess what? I've been wanting to do a shout out for a very, very long time to a subscriber of mine. And he's got his own channel. He's got a uh, gaming channel. He does uh, games and stuff like that. And he would really like to get some more subscribers, so I don't know if there's anybody interested in gaming or learning about games or whatever. But uh, I promised him I would give him a shout out. The only problem I'm having is I can't pronounce his name. It's just, I'm sorry, I just can't pronounce your name. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to show the viewers the screen and they can uh, pause the video or whatever if they want to look you up or whatever. Or maybe I'll even leave the uh, link down, the uh, down below in the description for the guys to check it out if you're interested in a gaming channel. So here it is. Let's have a look. So that is the uh, guy that I am talking about. He's got a gaming channel. So if I click on it, it takes me right to his uh, gaming channel. And he's got a few games here. So. There you have it. I know he's only got like five subscribers at the moment, but uh, that's his uh, channel name. So go check him out. I promised him I would give him a shout out, and uh, there you have it. I'm just, I can't pronounce that name, so I wish you guys would pick easier names for your channel. It would also be easier for people to find you too, you know? But uh, anyways, that's just my opinion. And uh, have a good one there, subscriber. I hope you uh, get some subscribers out of the shout out and I try to help everybody. 
I probably can't help everyone, but uh, I do try my best. If you want a shout out, we do try it. And uh, I would have given you a shout out a long time ago already, but I just couldn't figure out how to pronounce your name. So if you got a reasonable name that I can pronounce, it might happen sooner. So anyways, we'll, uh, we'll be back in a little bit. I think I am screwed. Yeah. I looked again at the message that dispatch sent me and it actually means for tomorrow at 12 to deliver and uh, as the day has gone on I am not surprised because take a look at the long the line there these trucks are all here to deliver all of those I got a little bit of a I don't know what he what he's got tacos or whatever. He's uh, selling tacos or whatever you want to call it. They're pretty good too. I tried them. They're pretty good. Most of these Mexicans they know really good how to cook really good food. So, so yeah, we're sitting here till tomorrow. Oh, that's gonna be a disaster for me. I was hoping I was gonna get down to Laredo tonight deliver my load there tomorrow morning and pick up our load tomorrow no that's not looking too promising oh well tomorrow's Thursday I can deliver that load on Friday and hopefully get me a reload somewhere on Saturday or something or maybe even Friday afternoon but we'll see how it goes so we'll keep you guys up to date on how everything goes I just finished watching Apple's life event. They're releasing uh, some new iPhones and Apple TV and all that good stuff. So I think now it's movie time. I think now I'm going to go watch some movies. So we'll see what else we can show you today. Well, if we had anything interesting coming up here yet or not. We had that guy over there earlier that's, uh, I don't know if you can see him. But uh, yeah, he's, he's standing right there beside the truck there. He was getting really mad at another driver there. I don't know for what reason, but he was yelling and screaming at him. And yeah, he was mad. But as far as I can see up there, up to the driveway, it's all lined up all the way up to the street. I mean, this, this place is packed. I mean, packed. So uh, anyways, I think I'm gonna go watch me some movies. So we'll be back later, hopefully see what else we can come up with alrighty guys I am done for today I think starting to get dark out here and uh, I watched a bunch of movies already today so uh, I'm starting to get tired here so I think I'm gonna go to bed here pretty soon so I figured well I'm gonna go finish the video for today I know it hasn't been much of a video but uh, hey what can I do about having to sit here so just part as a truck driver we sometimes run into this situation and well that's just the way it goes so i don't really have anything else to say so hope you guys had a good day though and uh, we will try and get unloaded here tomorrow hopefully that will work and uh, with that we'll see you guys again tomorrow and hopefully we can show you guys a little bit of a better video tomorrow so thanks for watching guys and be sure to stick around for tomorrow so give me a thumbs up if you like the video share it and if you're new to our channel we would love to have you subscribe to us and stick around for tomorrow because there's more good videos to come behind me that day is gonna come